back in Gainey Titan here and we are on Richard 1944 version with the Indian Panzer. So this is the first look at the Indian Panzer. I recorded I think close to Christmas, too late to be sort of shown. But I had actually some difficulty getting a decent game in the Indian Panzer because a lot of my initial games probably because of the competitions that were going on. I think there was some various stuff to encourage people to play Tier 10. And it meant that even from stock, I was uh, rolling out into very strong Tier 10 battles. And I mean 8 or 9 Tier 10 tanks, 1 or 2 Tier 8s, and the rest Tier 9s. That kind of level of Tier 10 battles. Uh, it's kind of unusual, but I suppose the numbers must have dropped enough on the servers that they now no longer... Uh, prioritize given stock uh, players the opportunity to play the first couple of games or the first game at least um, top tier so we've um, aside from the difficulties I had with its stock I actually found it not a difficult tank to play this is one of these tanks that um, it doesn't have any real flaws it doesn't really stand out in any particular area, but the performance is kind of solid in every in every aspect that you'd ask for in a medium in a medium tank. It's got to reasonable mobility, reasonable gun handling, reasonable gun depression, reasonable armor, good alpha on the gun uh, when you have the final gun, so you can um, you can trade effectively in this tank. You can fire. You can work ridge lines. You can act as support uh, to the heavies in an attack. You know, it fulfills all the roles we say of a medium tank, and it fulfills them. Well, I suppose conceptually, it was more of a battle tank uh, in the Leopard line than a, a medium tank. Same as the Centurion. Uh, I mean, they're classified as medium tanks by. Uh, world of tank standards but they're not they're not your typical mediums which tended to be lightly armoured and uh, they tend to sacrifice armour for mobility this is um, it's an all rounding it's an all round tank it's supposed to fulfil sort of all the, the battlefield roles that you might ask a tank to fulfil but it's not um, a heavy tank And generally, I can say it performs well. I just think it's an easy tank to play. Uh, it's easy to do well in. I mean, I'm doing very, very well here. Well, not yet at the moment, but I will do very, very well in this game. Mostly by just sitting over here in this thing and just using the gun. And not exposing myself overly much to the enemies. Now, the enemy have made it a little bit easy in this particular game as well. And since they have more or less limbing trained down uh, that side without it making any attempt to secure the centre. I mean, I don't think you can push from the castle on this map. I think there's just too much open ground. And you're far too vulnerable to, not so much the guys from the south of them, but once you push into the position to engage the guys to the south, you're vulnerable to people in my position. Um, and if they come across well, too far south to engage in my position, they're going to get nailed by the guys to the south of me. What they should have been doing is uh, coming in where that medium is there on the hill to the north. They should be actually taking that central hill. I think Red has decided on the central hill, but the... Um, as you can see, like the tank just performs quite well. I mean, at this stage we have racked up uh, 1,200. We're over 2,000 uh, damage done. And we're going to do more. Um, and it's got the mobility to relocate. We don't see it in this particular battle, but the tank is is reasonably mobile. If you spot a situation that needs a response to it, you can actually expect to get there with, with a reasonable degree of clarity in this tank. I mean, obviously, it's not super fast. It's not super um, well armored, but it's. It's pretty okay in all categories. Now, we're just at the time now to finish off the remaining enemies and... 
Yeah, the big guns will punch through it. This guy now is going to hit me hard because I've just shown it too much tank. And he's going to uh, hit me again in a moment. I thought the Iron Rain was the, would be the threat there, but that shot went high. I'm picking up some spotting damage as well there, and possibly on the VK. And actually, I think it's the VK that hit me there. That was a big hit, it's left me in a very vulnerable position. One more shot like that would finish me off. So the armor, like I said, it will bounce shots. The armor is actually pretty good in it, but it just, uh, it's not a proof against everything. You do have to be careful, it's still only a medium tank. We've now got one enemy remaining, but we have, uh, we've done almost 3,000 uh, damage. And it turns out we've probably done a little bit more as well because we've gotten some blind fire uh, damage as well. So where is the iron rain pointing at? Uh, there he is. Not, not quite at me. I think I should be able to get in, get the shot off and get out. Before I get to return fire and the iron rain is going to be finished before I get the reload in. So... It's a good tank, I think. You know, it's a... Uh, it's an easy to play tank, it's, like I said, I don't think it has any real faults. Um, so you can see the result, you got a first class mastery, we did nearly three and a half thousand damage. Got the uh, confederate award and we would, would have probably gotten the um, high caliber only for the fact that we collided with that other tank, I think. Because we uh, came number one by experience and we easily did the most damage of both teams. So uh, I think the high caliber was only stopped because of that collision. Overall, is this certainly um, it's a fun tank. I think it's um, you don't see many of them of them, but I suppose the people who go through this line want to play the leopards. They're the ones with the big rep. Um, they're going for the tier 10 tanks. I certainly look forward to the Leopards to play. It'd be interesting to see what they're like, but I think they're more uh, they're more about mobility and gun type uh, tanks than this thing, which is more solid all round kind of tank. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please press like, comment, share. It really helps the channel out. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to the channel. I will catch you all again soon. Bye for now.